Hi. Hi. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Um, I was just about to tell everybody who's watching that not only are you the author of the upcoming Emblem Island, but your song Divine has over a million downloads. Is that really true? Yeah, it actually now has closer to 2 million streams, which is crazy because it only came out like two months ago. Um, but yeah, that's, it's, an, it's insane. <laughs> Oh my, well, congratulations. That's Thank fantastic. You. Oh my gosh. So how, um, and your sister, by the way, was so nice to include me in her news at, uh, newsletter. Um, yeah. And like half the time we talked, she was talking about you, by the way. She Aww. adores you. And you guys oh are yeah, cheers, I just right? saw her comment. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so, okay, first, first tell me about your book. Let's talk about the book. What made you write a book? Why this topic? Go. Um, Okay, so this is my book. It's called Emblem Island Curse of the Night Witch. It's the first in the Emblem Island series, um, which is basically about a magical island where everyone is born with markings on their skin that represent their talent, like their superpower, their fate. So they have like a lifeline across their palm and also their role in society. And the first book is all about the main character who doesn't like his fate and will go to great lengths to change it. Um, and it's inspired by Latinx myths from my childhood. So um, my twin sister and I were Colombian and we grew up hearing these stories from our grandmother and I kind of turned those stories and was inspired by those stories to write this book. Um, but, and so that was the inspiration for this specific book, but I've always wanted to be an author. I've been writing books for years and this is the first one that got published. So exciting. Yeah. <laughs> Right? I mean, oh my gosh, it's yeah. such a huge accomplishment. So how long did this particular book take you to write? Um, so this particular book took only like three weeks. Um, but three it weeks was, to write? Mm-hmm. Which is not something I'm necessarily proud of because I've written, this is the sixth book that I've written. It's just the first one that got published. And the other books took a really long time. I wrote all through college and even through high school. I started writing when I was like 13. Um, but this is the first book where it really was just like spilling out of me. I knew exactly what to write. I think it was the first book of like my heart. So it really just spilled onto the page. And strangely, most of what I wrote in those three weeks ended up in the book. Obviously, like, as you know, you go through so many um, editors and different processes. So it definitely changed. It got twice as long. So it would have taken a lot longer <laughs> if it had been the full length. Um, but it was really easy to write, whereas now I realize the past books, I was kind of forcing it. This is truly like the book I was meant to write, I feel like. Um, so it was really quick, but that's definitely not normal. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Um, there is something to like, kind of like fitting a, what's it called, like a square peg in a round hole. You know, yeah. like you can try and try and try, but sometimes like it's just not working. And then yeah. you find something else and it, that for whatever reason, that's where the magic is. So. Really, I think that when you find something that you're really meant to write and you're in a perfect place to write it, it's kind of, you're just in a flow and it just, it comes out. And I think that's what happened with this book. It's so exciting. So you said it's the first in a series. So you have plans to write about all the different characters or what's it going to look like? Um, so my deadline for book two of the series is actually today. Um, you better, so, you better go. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's, it's actually kind of been a similar process where I've been writing in a very short amount of time. Um, my publisher gave me a long time and I, I did the whole synopsis. I figured out exactly what was going to happen back in October. But I really think that my process is getting to the place where I can sit down and just write and, I, that's kind of what's happening now. And luckily I'm almost done, but um, to turn it in. But yeah, it's hopefully going to be a series of a few books. This one is all about Emblem Island and the different creatures and monsters that live there in the different um, territories. Um, but the second book is all about the sea around Emblem Island and there are pirates and sea curses and stuff. So that's fun. Wow. And can we talk about your music again? So how did you, when did you start releasing music? How did, you know, how long has that been going on? So I created an Instagram account for my singing when I was 19. So I was still at Penn and it was just obviously a hobby. Like I was in college and I was really focused on that. I was still writing books. I was trying to get published um, during this time too. 
And I just was singing covers and I've always loved it. I obviously love to write. So I started writing songs and just like the books, how I wrote millions of words before the first one um, actually came out into the world, which it comes out in June. Um, I wrote so many songs and I finally wrote a song where I was like, I really love this. I think this is the best I can do right now. And I found a really great producer. The producer for Divine produced Alessia Cara's last album and Dua Lipa. And he was great. And he came to New York and we went into a studio and we made the song in three days. And I decided to um, release it myself because the book industry and the music industry are actually really similar. There's a lot of parallels um, from the business side in terms of royalties and advances, but also in terms of like the fact that the record label is kind of like your publishing house. So having had my experience with my publishing house, which I absolutely love, and they've allowed me to have a lot of control. I wanted that control with my first release. So I released it and I didn't really think much of it the first day. Um, it only had like 600 streams and 200 listeners. So I was like, oh great, this isn't gonna go well. And then like two weeks later, it had gone up to like half a million streams um, and it just kind of went viral on TikTok. Um, but it's crazy because it really, I've done everything. I don't have like a manager or a label or anything. So it's really insane how that has taken off with just one song. Um, yeah. That's amazing. And so can you say who your producer is? My, so my husband's a music oh. producer. He's commenting here and he's like, who's, who's her producer? Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I should talk to him. That. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. I would love to. So it's John Levine. So he, um, like J O N, um, Levine, and he, I think, oh, <laughs> I, I like, can't even see the comments right now, but yeah, um, he was amazing. And as you know, like, I think with writing, producing, like, it's two separate parts of the same, like, end products. So you really have to find someone who you mesh with. And I think I was really afraid um, up until Divine to do that with someone because you just never know what's going to happen and you don't know if they're going to get your vision, but it was perfect. And um, I released it kind of right before the pandemic, uh, which wasn't great timing. And my book releases um, in June, but I think it's really interesting to see the differences between the two releases and how that will work. Um, but yeah, I know it, it sounds a little crazy to have a song and then like also a book, but I think it sounds awesome. It just speaks to what it means to be a creative person, right? You have multiple mm -hmm. outlets for the stuff that's on your mind and that you're thinking and feeling and how great is that? It can be in a book, yeah. it can be in a song. And I mean, that's just great. I love your drive and all of it. I mean, you're like, oh, well, that's when I was still at Penn. I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I think it's, it's hard because a lot of people see they're like, Oh my gosh, you have like almost 2 million streams on divine, you released it yourself. Oh my gosh, you have a children's book series that that's crazy. But it's really the culmination of so many years of work. Like I started writing when I was 13. And I started trying to get an agent when I was 14. My mom was sending me um, she they moved and she has my old books and she sent me this book. It was like from 2011 of like guide to literary agents. Oh my and gosh. So I remember all of that. I've had hundreds of rejections and it's been hard. Um, and the only reason why now I'm like relatively young having this come out is because I started really young. Um, and then the song again, like I, I've written so many songs. It's been a long process and it just so happens that they're both, coming out at the same time. Oh my gosh. Well, congratulations on all of it. And I'm so excited to follow you and like see what happens from now on. And I'm gonna put you in touch with Kyle even just to for fun talk music and whatever. Yeah, no, I would love that. But I really didn't know that. That's amazing. But yeah. I think your point is really good that creative people usually have many interests. And even though it's kind of not, I don't know, really supported to say, oh, this person is in two different industries and that don't really overlap. I think that anyone who is creative and writing is probably doing it in multiple um, different areas and genres. So, yeah, I love it. Yeah. Uh, well, thank you so much. It was so fun to talk to you and thank uh, you. good luck with everything coming up. I'll, uh, thank I'll you be watching. So much. <laughs> that thank sounds you. creepy. That's... That sounds really creepy. <laughs> I won't be watching too closely. I'll be following from the sidelines and, and cheering you on. How about that? Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. This was really fun. Okay. Thanks for coming on. Thank you. Bye. Bye.